Hello Aquarius, this is Leonard with Lingonberry Key Tarot, and I'm here to do your monthly reading for the month of November. I have pulled some oracle cards for you for the month, and we still have the Wisdom of Tree Tarot, the Angels and Ancestors, and also the Oracles of the Fairies. So let's go on into the Wisdom of Tree Tarot. So we have Hazel. So beware of d dissipating your energy and be kind, being caught up in ideas and situations that have nothing to do with you. Decide on your mental emotional boundaries and where they lie, in particular when dealing with other people. So keep your boundaries, healthy boundaries, and camp for. Uh, set aside some time to be by yourself, then practice some slow, steady breathing. This will help you clear your mind so that you, so that your difficulties become easier to analyze and you gain greater understanding. Hornbeam, 5041. This is a good time for you to work on new ideas, especially relating to personal projects and to cultivate your creative talents. This will lead to fresh opportunities to renew enthusiasm while you rekindle your passion for life. Wow. So, we have for the Angels and Ancestors, we have Seer, which is see beyond your current situation. And Traveler, move into a new direction. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Earth Guardian, stay rooted and grounded. And with the Oracles of the Fairies, we have Friendship. Fairies and humans alike need new friends, need friends. Now the time is to seek out those who will support and encourage you in journey to fulfill your dream. Believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around you in nature. Um, the Fairy of the Northern Lights says to you, says you are part of nature, so you are magical too. Temptation. Are you in denial about some unhealthy habit? Perhaps one that makes you feel guilty. The Fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever its guise. And Fairy Spotting. It's time to go Fairy Spotting. It's said to that seeing is believing, but the fact the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. And at the bottom of the deck, it's magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. So that is your oracles for the month of November. So let's see what pops out in the crystal tarot. So we have the Eight of Swords. You're currently feeling stuck in a situation in which you have had your cups um, plop over, at least three of them, but you still have um, two of your cups still upright with these two. Uh, you have the Four of Pentacles, so you are definitely saving your money for something. Um, or it could be that you're holding on to your feelings and you are not letting them out because we also have the moon which is also about illuminating things that may be um not good in our life but um also it can be illuminating things that we want to see and want to happen so something in the in your life may be shed upon with the light of the moon we also have the ten of cups so you you definitely have either the Ten of Cups right now, or this is what you are working towards. This is why you're holding on to your pentacles. This is why the moon is illuminating things, and this is why you are feeling stuck, because you want your Ten of Pentacles. And we also have a Page of Swords coming in, so this could be an offer from somebody who is younger, somebody who is an air sign like yourself. And they are coming in quickly with the Knight of Swords. I am pretty sure I, I'm, I'm just saying this. I 
I'm pretty sure I did this reading for you at some point before. Um, you're definitely contemplating on things because somebody is coming in as the King of Pentacles um, who wants to offer you something. It may be this page and knight um, because they are coming in with their pentacle right here. Um, so you could be dealing with an air sign or you could be dealing with an earth sign. So um, Virgo, Capricorn, and um, Taurus. So we have the Five of Wands, which is you holding up your feelings you are on the defense but whoever's coming in whether if it's a earth, earth sign or air sign um they are your soulmate they want that um two of cups it's a celebration um because they are definitely coming towards you with this ace of cups as the knight of cups and it's a decision that you have to make um it's a faded decision because um, it is somebody who is either your soulmate or your twin flame. And you're just waiting on your pentacles to come in. So that is the bottom of the deck. So let's see if we can clarify this I'm using the crystal power tarot. So let's take a look at the five of cups. Why is the five cups here? Yeah, you definitely have your two of cups here. <laughs> your twin flame is finally coming in, possibly. And I feel like I said this like two or three weeks ago. <laughs> or even last week. Um, with the Halloween reading. So let's look at the Four of Pentacles. Oh, that flew out. Um, yeah, you have your guard up. You have been winning battles with whatever the situation is that you're going through. Um, the, this, either the air sign or the earth sign is coming in as a King of Cups who previously broke your heart who wants the Queen of Cups and who wants to have all the options in the future with you. So this is definitely something faded. Um, so let's look at the moon. Why is the moon here? The moon is illuminating that this is your Ten of Cups that's coming in. It is the final thing that is coming in for you. And... Yeah, it's the air sign that's coming in. Who you have your defenses up against. But they also are your Ten of Pentacles. So this is a very good reading so far. Why is the Ten of Cups here? That one just wants to come out. They want to build um, their foundations with you. They want to have that new start with you. What? Yeah, that's like a third of the deck. Um, <laughs> why is the page of wands here? <laughs> I was not about to read 50 cards and that's still a lot of cards. <laughs> why is the page of wands here? Yeah, yeah, four of wands. 
Okay. They want you bad. They want that white picket fence. They want that foundation. They want the whole shebang. So, yeah, that's too many cards and that's... Uh, so they could be coming into money. That's why they're coming back. And because they feel that they are your equal now. Um, why is the Knight of Wands, a Knight of Swords here? <laughs> Ay yeah. Uh, I think they're yelling at me again. Okay, why is the Knight of Swords here? So if you haven't watched the Aquarius Halloween reading, Halloween week reading, yeah. I got yelled at by the cards and it's just wanting to do it again so let's see so the knight of swords is here because they are feeling very loving and kind right now um, they are feeling lustful and just want you they want to be chained to you so you're in contemplation about it you have the strength to go through it you are making that decision in order to be with the Libra why did I know that was coming out? Okay, so go watch the Halloween reading if you haven't watched it yet. <laughs> that was, yeah, I got a headache after that one. Um, let's look at the Four of Swords. Because the tower has brought down your, um, has brought down you feeling stuck. You are no longer stuck in the situation, possibly, and you are making a final decision on what it, you want to do with the Two of Swords. And you are celebrating because of it. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Yeah, the King of Pentacles has been spying on you. They, they also may have been a little deceitful, which has... Um, but they are moving away from it to give you an offer because they are done looking at you from afar. They are moving closer with that Six of Swords. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? They've been working on themselves. They've been working through whatever's been, what they've been going through. And they are coming in as the Knight of Pentacles. So they are coming in to give you an offer. Because the world is changing things. You are seeing things for the what they are truly are. And you are showing up here getting your wish fulfillment with the star. The moon is illuminating things that previously weren't being illuminated. And the wheel of fortune is bringing back around this air sign who is coming in as a king of pentacles. Okay. Any other advice for Aquarius? That's like half the deck. Uh, judgment, so yeah. Judgment is bringing them back around. And it's a wish fulfillment. Somebody who you previously walked away from and they are coming in as a king of swords uh, with temperance, with that new offer, who wants to build a relationship with you and who is very balanced right now. All right, Aquarius, that's your read. I hope you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know if you had a chance to look at that other reading because this, I swear, it's almost the same. All right, I'll see you later.